Classica San Sebastian, 2019, and Renko's at it again, off the front, 35 seconds up this super steep climb, averages 10% for a 2.5k, that has a downhill, and uh, he started the climb with 45 seconds, went down to 30 seconds when Valverde and uh, Patrick Conrad attacked, but then they sort of stalled, went back up to 45 seconds, big man Hugh Carthy tried to jump across, but didn't, you can see it's a really, really steep climb, and then uh, over the top, it's false flat for a couple kilom kilometres, and then it's downhill, and Remco put on a descending clinic and was an absolute monster. Unfortunately, there's no footage of this, um, but if you can watch it, definitely watch it. Tis cycling highlights and stuff should have it if you don't have Eurosport. Um, but yeah, it's unbelievable. And um, yeah, he's once he's on the flat, very strong time trialist, despite him being uh, 61 kilos. I think he's less than that, in my opinion, because uh, he's absolutely tiny. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, he's, a, he's an absolute weapon on the bike, uh, for sure. And uh, yeah, so he's only done one 200 kilometer race before this tour of Norway. And uh, what, I think it was stage six, maybe. And he finished like 68, seven minutes down. Um, and then his second 200k race, he just wins it. And it's like, OK, this is ridiculous. Here's Emmerich Mass disturbing the chase. And no one really wanted to chase him, to be fair, because Greg Van Abmat's in the group. So and the teams and Greg Van Abmat was on his own. And the teams that like Trek and EF had no one who can sprint. So they're not really going to want to pull it back. So there was just a lot of surge, surging to try and get across to him and like break away. But that didn't happen because everyone was chasing because there was too many. So nothing really happened. Um, but anyway, Remco, I mean, he's still the strongest. There's, there's no way you're going to get him back once he's on his own. And he's got a 30 second gap with like 7k to go. I mean, cheerio. And he just can't believe it at the end. Like he's sprinting into the final straight. These races are literally double the length that he did last year. They're like 100k races last year for junior. He's doing double the length and still winning. And like putting time into people on that final climb after like 200k of racing. It's absolutely mad. And like I can't even imagine racing 200k and like I'm a year older than him. It's ridiculous. He's he's crazy. Um, Yeah, he's he's mad, that boy. He's absolutely mad. And um, yeah, I can't believe it. At the end, takes the win in his little skin suit on his S-Works tarmac disc, and yeah, cheerio, thanks for coming, <laughs> he's an absolute legend, Greg Van Avant picked up second place, followed by Mark Hershey, and um, yeah, what do you think, I think he's going to be a Grand Tour boy, and uh, maybe the Hilly Classics, not sure he's going to be Mugs, but yeah, it'll be unbelievable to see what he does in the future, um, so anyway, just watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.